Welcome back everyone, this is now mission 3, tunnels. As soon as you start, go left, you'll find a hole in the wall, didn't and you'll find the jar 104. From the last location, head round the corner, go past the Sealed traps by spears, on the left, eh? there must be a way through this. and on the tombstone itself you will find the letter 1 of 6. Relic 1 of 6. From the last location, drop down this hole here. You have to come through here anyway. It's part of the story. But hopefully you should see the the puzzle door. In the far right corner. Once you activate it, solve this puzzle here and then move on. Once you've done it. Interact with the um, object in front of you to find the relic 1 of 6. Well found, old chap. Letter 2. Once you have found the scarab key, you will unlock this door, head directly straight. In this next room, you will find the letter 2 of 6 located on another sort of table section, just in the middle of the I area. A... Once you drop down, if you keep running to the right, you should hopefully hear a blue cat noise. So once you enter this door, you'll hear a cat go off. Look behind you. Let's see what this little blighter is hiding. Once you get to the blue crystal, can't really miss it, it's part of the story. Look to the left, no next to the um, snakes in the water, eye. you'll find the next jar. Relic two or six. Now once you activated it, you will find a, another one of them treasure hunter things that runs from one point to another, so you have to quickly get him before he actually goes away. So just remember, once you've done the, the previous show. area with all the waves of enemies coming at you, then these doors will open, then you can find it. So in the same location, next to the campfire section, you will find a letter 3 of 6. I found her. Keep an eye out Blue Cat 2 of 6. Carry on now. Turn around as soon as you hear the uh, the cat noise. Backtrack. Shoot the cat. Good shot. It is just a statue. Later on in your mission, this will be Relic 3 of 6. So in this area to the right, you will find a secret, not a secret door, but a relic door. Once you activate it, you have to do the combination. So you'll find three of these icons laying around. And each one of these icons would represent a icon that you need to have on the door. Watch out! Reloading! So the next one's up here, so there's a bird. And then the next one I'll show you in a second. So if you head to the right, and that's the next one. Oh, I say, how much do you think this goes for down the jumble? Letter four of six, delaying tactics. From the last location, carry on now and head up the stairs. If you keep going up the stairs, head straight, what keep going straight, you can't miss it. And you'll no find the letter in front of you. Literature. Now the next one will be a blue cat. For this one, just keep walking around and eventually you hear the blue cat sound. If you look directly up, Does this little you will find the blue cat. For us? Letter 5-6, a dark power here. In the room where you have to defend yourself, on the pillar to the left, this is all about. just before the vines you see, you will find it. So in the same room, after or before, eh, I'll say after, after you dealt with all the enemies in this room, 
You'll find the letter there and the jar just above that doorway. Relic 4 of 6. Now once we go towards the vines that we can burn. That's a combination to the doorway. Once you go Good in, show, get the relic. Strange brigade. That's one for the mantelpiece there, all right. I'll be right under. Ah! Relic five of six. From the priest location. Go into the open area where you fought all the enemies and go to the opposite end. If you go around this corner here, take a sharp right, you will find another relic just laying in this box here. From the previous location, leave out and carry on with your mission. Now if you go all the way down to the very bottom, you'll find a campfire. As soon as you're about to proceed on, you'll hear a cat noise. Once you heard him, turn around and shoot the little bleeder. Little bleeder! Little bleeder! Jar 4, from the last location, once you have evaded all of the traps. Agility. Before jumping down, you can shoot the jar. As soon as you drop down, turn on 180, stand on this switch here, and shoot the uh, blue switch. This will deactivate the arrows, and it gives you enough time, I would say, to grab the relic and get your ass out of there. That'll look splendid on my mantelpiece. Letter six. Once you have done the last area and you come down Why these stairs, you'll get this sure little scene. And just before carrying on, you will find the letter on the side it. there. Blue cat. Reloading. To make things easy, just stay from the last location. Now we want to head towards the doorway. There we go. Once we head towards the door, another blue cat should appear somewhere. There we go. Let's see what this one's got for us. And blue cat six and golden cat one of one for this area. So once you have solved the puzzle in this room, head directly straight through the door. You will find one of the blue crystals in front of you. You don't have to activate it yet. Go up the stairs to the right, take another right, shoot the cat above the golden door, and then pick up the golden cat. I'll see you golden girls in the next mission. Got a reload. A quick pause to the proceedings.